Hello and welcome to the Usmania Journalism YouTube channel. I am Spencer Mahitraj, second year MCJ student and I am thrilled to present our very first weekly news bulletin. In this news series, we aim to provide you with clear, in-depth updates on the most relevant news. Each week, we will break down the headlines and also important events on campus, student concerns and noteworthy happenings around the university. So let's dive right in. Beginning with our very own university news, Telangana government has appointed Professor Kumar Mulgaram as Vice Chancellor of Usmana University. He is a renowned academician and senior professor of civil engineering. His illustrious career include notable administrative roles and prestigious awards, which include Best Teacher State Award 2018 from Government of Telangana, Engineer of the Year 2018 from Institution of Engineers India and Government of Telangana. Details of Professor Kumar's achievements and awards will be shared in our upcoming broadcast. Other key administrative appointments include Prof. Gaddam Naresh Reddy as Registrar, Prof. S. Jitendra Kumar Naik as the Officer on Special Duty to Vice Chancellor, Prof. B. Lavanya has been appointed as Dean UGC and Development Affairs. Moving forward to news beyond university, Telangana's caste census begins. Telangana has launched its first caste census in 1931, aiming to gather social, economic and educational data from each household in the state. Backward Classes Welfare Minister Ponnam Prabhakar kicked off this door-to-door -door survey involving 85,000 trained enumerators visiting over 1.17 crore households. Enumerators will collect details like name, caste, marital status and optional other numbers, marking each door with a sticker after their visit. The state government assures that all data will remain confidential. Additionally, a one-man commission led by retired IAS officer Bhusani Venkateshwar Rao has been enforced to help guide future reservation policies. The census is expected to conclude by the end of November. Parliament winter session to start on November 25th. The winter session of Parliament will begin on November 25th and run until December 25th. Key issues on the agenda include the One Nation, One Election proposal and the Waqf Bill. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Kiran Rijuju confirmed the schedule with a joint session on November 26th to celebrate Constitution Day. The Waqf Field Committee is expected to present its report by November 29th and discussions on the One Nation, One Election proposal will be held. This proposal has faced opposition with Congress voicing concerns about its feasibility. India bids to host the 2036 Olympics. India has officially taken a major step towards hosting the 2036 Olympics with the Indian Olympic Association submitting a letter of intent to the International Olympic Committee. The bid proposes hosting the games in Ahmedabad and there is a push to include traditional Indian sports like yoga, Coco and Kabaddi if the bid succeeds. India now joins nine other countries including Mexico, Indonesia and Turkey interested in hosting the Games. If successful, India would become the fourth Asian country to host the Olympics. The selection process will require significant assurances on infrastructure, security and accommodation the final decision expecting in the coming years. Donald Trump returns to the White House. In a historic comeback, Donald Trump has won the US presidential race, marking his return to the White House after a four year gap. At 78, Trump becomes the oldest person in US history to be elected president, crossing the crucial 270 electoral vote threshold with key wins in the battleground state. This win follows his 2020 loss and the challenges that came after, including the capital right. Despite illegal cases and pending charges, Trump defeated Democratic opponent Kamala Harris in a close election. He called his win part of the greatest political movement of all time. New Zealand's historic 3-0 whitewash of India. In a historic achievement, New Zealand has whitewashed India 3-0 in their own backyard, marking the first time India has ever lost a test series 3-0 at home. Former New Zealand coach Glenn Cocknell described the win as a bigger achievement than the 2021 World Test Championship victory. Key performances came from William and Ajaz Patel, who played pivotal roles in India's collapse. With this loss, India's chances of making it to the World Test Championship final are now uncertain. But the Kiwis' victory, built on skill and determination, will be remembered as a historic upset. Thanks for watching. We will be releasing these bulletins weekly to keep you updated with the latest developments. We will also be featuring other exciting programs such as Vox Populi, interviews, panel discussions and much more. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected with us for our upcoming content. This is Spencer Mahitraj, signing off.